A state that could make all the difference on the electoral map come election night is also one of the hardest to predict. Florida and its 29 electoral votes, yet again, a toss-up in 2016, with voters divided on the issues and the candidates. Donald Trump was not my first, second, or third choice, but he is now. Trump is a racist. He is discriminating against people with disability, and I have a son that has a disability. And for me, he's cuckoo. There are 4.6 million registered Democrats in Florida and about 4.4 million registered Republicans. A razor-thin difference when you consider Florida's nearly 3 million unaffiliated voters. So both campaigns are throwing money at the middle, spending roughly $48 million on television ads since the start of the general election, according to ad tracking firm Cantor Media. In Hillary Clinton's America, the system stays rigged against Americans. Hillary Clinton and her super PACs have pummeled Donald Trump, outspending the Republican four times over. Kaiser made it to China. Since early June, Clinton's team has spent $38.7 million on TV in the Sunshine State, to Trump's $9.2 million. Despite the imbalance in spending, recent polls show Clinton and Trump are still in a tight race. Flip a coin, it's now all about turnout. Really? It's so close, and it has been for some time. In Florida's last three elections, its two governor's races and the 2012 presidential, the victor only won by 1%. There are a few areas that really illustrate why Florida is such a battleground better than the central part of the state. You've got retirement communities like the Villages, which happens to be older, less diverse, and a Trump stronghold. And only about 45 miles away, you have the polar opposite, Orlando. It's much younger, much more ethnically diverse, and it skews toward Hillary Clinton. Braulio, hi, this is Rebecca calling from the Florida Democratic Party. How to find an edge in central Florida, home to nearly 40% of the state population, Clinton is investing heavily in an expanded ground game. We built an operation over several months um, that just can't be matched. It is the ground game that will make the difference in a state that is 1%. Primer nombre? Julio. The Clinton Julio. camp is courting more than a million Puerto Ricans living in Florida, about half of them in the Orlando area. She is talking to them about the things that matter to them, about economic stability, offering jobs. The Trump campaign has been slow to build a ground game in Florida, but thanks to a major boost from the RNC, officials say they expect to have several dozen offices up and running soon, along with more than 200 people on staff and several thousand volunteers. We do have our offices open. There are 60 uh, between the Republican National Committee, the party, Republican Party of Florida, the other candidates and us. So there are plenty of places for volunteers to gather. America can be strong. America can stand tall again. While Mike Pence energized Trump's base at the villages on Saturday, state officials say their campaign is not focused on any specific demographic group. Their strategy is simply to get their candidates and message in front of as many Floridians as they can. But we believe that if you meet him, you support him and you like him. Boris Sanchez, CNN, Orlando.